Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Committed Gaming. I am Flute5311, and today's Zerday. Yay, Zerday! Look how look look how flippin' shiny I am right now in this in these Iron Banner craziness. All right, well, it's May first. He's hanging out down here. With the Vanguard. Let's see what he's got. Got Ruin Wings for the Titan with a stat roll of 101. Eh, stat roll's not that great, but the Ruin Wings are awesome. Um, buy them, buy them, buy them. If you don't have them, buy them right now. Uh, they they are they are perfect for PVE. You get heavy for days sometimes. Most a lot of the times though they, when they work, they are on point. You just got heavy for days. Use buy them, buy them, buy them, buy them. For the Titans, we have Don't Touch Me's, which those, those are also another good gauntlet. Um, they, they don't have much PvP use. Um, they're okay, but for PvE, there's no cooldown. Anytime you get hit with the melee, you just go in biz, and, um, which is awesome, especially for like running the lamps. Um, or, I don't know, it's just it's just a very good, as long as there's no light switch, um, these are very useful. Okay, for the Warlock, we have Heart of Praxic Fire. Uh, which is really good. I mean, that's one of the best Sunsinger exotics out there. I don't use it um, as often for my Sunsinger, but it's really, really good. I've started to use it more often um, lately. Uh, but it further decreases uh, the ability cooldowns when you're Radiant. So it basically, it usually equals out to like an extra grenade when you're Radiant. Uh, Alright, we have Hard Light this week, which is, uh, I don't know. I still don't like it. I still think it's a Marshmallow Gun. Um, it's fun. It sounds awesome. It looks awesome. You know, when you put the trigger pull down, you're just mowing people down. The 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 the, the light, the actual light that comes out of the end of the gun. I mean, literally, it's you're shooting laser marshmallows. It's it's cool. It's just it's just marshmallows. Exotic shards, and we have gauntlets this week for exotic engrams. Upgrades. We have knucklehead radar. None of these sterols are good today. What have we got going on? Young Ahamkara spying, not good. Uh, and it's got Nitz skull front for the Titan. Not a good stat roll. Now that's a good stat roll. The Crest of Alpha Lupi, one sixty one. That's a good stat roll. Um, one seventy is the max on that. So uh, with Tras of Osiris coming up, eh, it's looking like this crest could be more and more useful. Heart of Praxic Fire, one twenty seven. And void fang vestments at 146. Weapons looks like we've got what? Bad juju, red death, the multi tool which he just sold last week. Invective, pocket infinity, oh, plan C, then pocket infinity. Telemetries we have pulse rifle, hand cannon, and machine gun. And there you go. So that is Zer, week 34. Anybody here? Yeah, more bronze people. It's a thing this time of year. All the Iron Banner. Iron Banner must be done. Alright, thanks everybody for tuning in. And to all you gamers out there, stay committed.